Now, let us look at this uh, numerical with respect to scaled deviance. So, the number of uh, claims on three different classes of insurance policies over the last four years. Okay, class 1 is having a total of 10 claims distributed like this. Class 2 around 17 distributed like this and class 3 is having around 24 distributed like this. Fair enough. The number of claims in a given year from a particular class is assumed to follow a Poisson distribution. So, the, the density function is e to the power of minus lambda, lambda power x by x factorial. Okay. For the Poisson parameter for each class, I am asked to find out the maximum likelihood estimate. Now here, lambda is per year. So over a four year period, the parameter is going to be 4 lambda. So which means my likelihood estimate for the first risk, e to the power of minus 4 lambda, 4 lambda to the power x, x is 10 divided by 10 factorial. This is the likelihood parameter. And I am taking the log likelihood which is minus 4 lambda plus 10 log 4 lambda minus log 10 factorial. Now I have to take the derivative of this minus 4 plus 10 by 4 lambda, right, minus 4, minus 4 uh, plus 10 by 4 lambda times 4 is equal to 0, minus 4 plus 10 by lambda equal to 0, which gives me my lambda is 10 by 4 or 2.5. So, the lambda 1 is around 2.5. Okay, lambda 1 is 2.5. The same way I can go with uh, lambda 2, 17 by 4, which will uh, give me 4.25. And I will get lambda 3 also, 24 by 4, which will give me 6. So, I mean the same logic I can very well go with. And at the same time, perform a test on the scaled deviance to check whether there is an evidence that the class of policies have different uh, mean claim rates. So, if I really, now I have to really differentiate whether the rates are different across the different classes. So, for that one, I will take it as uniform, assuming all classes are the same. What is my uh, likelihood here or what is my lambda here? My lambda is going to be, I am take all of them to be the same. Right? If I am taking all of them to be the same, my lambda is nothing but 51 by 12. Which is uh, going to be around uh, 4.25. Right? Uh, my lambda, 41 plus 10, 51 by 12 is going to be my lambda. So, which is going to be 4.25. Now, this is what is the overall. Now, what is the scaled deviance test? The scaled deviance test is actually telling me to look at the comparison of the log likelihood function. Comparison of the log likelihood uh, function with the classification versus without the classification. So, with the classification, I am seeing that there are three parameters and without the classification, there is only one parameter. So, which means the scale deviance actually will follow a chi-square distribution with 3 minus 1, 2 degrees of freedom. Now, that is what we can test out. Okay, what is the log likelihood for the three parameters case? We have seen minus 4 lambda, right, plus... 10 log 4 lambda minus 10 log 10 factorial. In the other case, it becomes minus 4 lambda plus 17 log or probably I will call it as lambda 1. 
माइनस फोर लैमडा टू प्लस सेवनटीन लॉग फोर लैमडा टू माइनस लॉग सेवनटीन फैक्टोरियल एंड फॉर द थर्ड केस इट इज माइनस फोर लैंग फोर लैमडा थ्री प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर लॉग फोर लैमडा थ्री माइनस लॉग ट्वेंटी फोर फैक्टोरियल एंड वेन आई एम कंबाइनिंग ऑल ऑफ दैम into one single it is coming out as minus 12 lambda right uh, it is uh, coming out as uh, minus uh, 12 lambda plus 51 log 4 lambda Or log 12 lambda itself, right? So this is the case of single, and of course again it comes out as minus log 10 factorial, minus log 17 factorial, minus log 24 factorial. Now I can take the subtraction of these two, which is uh, the likelihood, log likelihood with respect uh, to separate minus, I mean, which is more saturated. And log likelihood with respect to our model, so I can very well uh, take the difference between uh, these two, right? Uh, uh, to show whether there is uh, any kind of uh, difference that it is bringing out by separating them out. Now these are going cancelled out in that exercise, so which is resulting in minus four lambda one plus ten log four lambda one. Minus four lambda two plus seventeen log four lambda two. Minus four lambda three plus twenty four log four lambda three. Minus two minus of minus twelve lambda plus fifty one log lambda. Fifty one log twelve lambda. This entire thing. In fact, it's 51 log lambda. This entire thing, uh, I'm trying to find out what its value is, and I'll compare that value with chi square, with the two degrees of freedom. So I can very well uh, substitute minus uh, four times lambda one. So all these values, now that I have these, I can substitute them and finally uh, compare them with respect to uh, chi square with two degrees of freedom. And if it is greater, I say that uh, uh, splitting them or doing a uh, class-wise class-wise uh, differentiation in terms of mean claim rates is very much appropriate. Otherwise, I say there is uh, no need of uh, splitting it uh, class-wise. Even a uniform uh, across all the three classes would do the purpose, right?